Hello everyone. Today we will learn about how reinforcement learning tracks AWS Depressor. First, let me give you a quick intro about myself. I am Tapa Singhal, currently pursuing my BTEC degree in CSE with a specialization in cloud computing from VIT Bhopal University. I am currently preparing for AWS Associate Solution Architect examination. You can connect me on LinkedIn through this link or by scanning this QR code. Today we will learn about these topics. First is introduction to Depressor. Second is reinforcement learning. Third is AWS Depressor workflow. And fourth is the creating and training and AWS Depressor model. So, what is AWS Depressor? It is a cloud based 3D racing simulator where you race fully autonomous 1 by 18 cars that are capable of performing both in virtual environment and in physical world. You can train, build, and optimize your own Depressor Evo. It was built for teaching machine learning in fun and interactive way. We will dive into what reinforcement learning is all about and how it powers AWS Depressor. We will deploy our own AWS Depressor models to a simulated AWS environment. After practice or done with train your model, you can submit your model to compete in the AWS Depressor leagues for a chance to win prizes. You have to start with virtual open division races. Then you will earn some digital rewards such as custom cars, some modifications, and paint jobs. The top 10% racers at the end of any open division race can advance to the pro division race and could earn some welcome kit and AWS Depressor merchandise and then participate in the pro final. The top 10 finishers win an AWS Depressor Evo vehicle and for the championship title, the top 3 finishers will get a trip to AWS reInvent for championship race. Before you can compete, you need to learn how to create and train your model either in a virtual or a physical world. You can train your virtual Evo with the help of AWS Depressor Console, which is a platform as a service for all those racers who are creating and deploying their Depressor model. This console will simulate a video of training environment. The car moves around the track and is driven via AWS Depressor reward function. These are powered by reinforcement learning, which is a subset of a machine learning. But what is reinforcement learning? Artificial intelligence is a broad term for teaching machines to think. There are subcategories for specific types of sup like supervised, unsupervised, and reinforcement learning. For now, it's important to learn about reinforcement learning. The reinforcement learning models learn training a dog. If your dog does something good, you give it a reward. If it does something bad, you won't reward it. And over time, it will learn based on the outcomes of the actions, which actions are actually good actions. That's how our Depressor Evo is getting trained. Agent drives the learning. The environment is the place where the agent learns. And the agent, uh, when the agent does something good in the environment, that provokes a response such as crossing the boundary, that's called an action. The response is considered a reward, either a positive or a negative, depending on whether agent did something uh, to be reinforced or discouraged in the model. As an agent moves within the environment, its actions should start receiving more and more positive rewards and fewer and fewer negative ones until it meets the desired outcome. So for us, that agent is the AWS Depressor EV and the environment is the racing track. Reinforcement learning is a 
broadly useful when the rewards of a desired outcome is known, but the path to achieve it is not, and the path requires a lot of trial and error to discover. This point is to be noted. So you can use AWS Depressor workflow to create, deploy, and tune an AWS Depressor model. You have to start with creating a model. In the console, configure the model parameters using the console. After building the model, use the simulator to train your model. Okay, so let's go to the AWS console and see how to create and train a model. So this is the AWS console. To navigate to the AWS Depressor console, you can either go to the machine learning category of the service menu. And locate it. Uh, Now this is important. The depression service is only available in N Virginia region. So you have to switch to a region always to the N Virginia whenever you want to use this service. Here you can see our region has been changed to N Virginia. Okay, so uh, then you have to choose create model. Here, you can take a quick crash course on reinforcement learning. Now, click create model. Just wait, it is loading. You need to give your model a name right here. So I will go with the demo 101. You can give any name. Next, you need to choose a track to use for training environment. There are variety of training environment. You can even choose the previous championship tracks. I will choose any at the random like. Um, I will choose this one. Then next. For the race step, you can choose between time trial, object avoidance, or head to head racing. Let's go with the default time trial. So, the next is define action space. It is where you will decide the actions of choices that an agent will make as it interacts with the environment. So here the steering angle. The steering angle section is where you determine the range of steering angles in which the front views of your agent can turn. And in the speed section, you can decide how fast your agent can drive. Remember that the faster agent goes, the longer it will take for the model to train. So starting with a slower speed is the best practice. We are going all of this at default. Next is to choose a vehicle page. 
it shows all the vehicles you have set up till now. In this example, we will go with the original depressor. As we don't have any other depressors right now. And at last, we have to customize the reward function page, which provide a pre-built code options, which you can modify to reward your model based on actions. We will keep this at default, like we don't want to spoil the default code. Okay. There, there are many examples of these reward functions you can choose from. Like here, the time trial, uh, prevent zigzag. There are uh, many types of uh, uh, reward functions available. You can see. In the stop condition section, you can increase or decrease the amount of time that the model trains for. The longer your model trains, the more accurate your model will be. I am going to give it a minimum of 5 minutes. Okay. You can see it can have a maximum uh, time of 1440 minutes and a minimum of 5 minutes. Okay. So, all done. Okay. Let's create model. After all this, your model immediately starts to initialize the training and will take about 6 minutes. Okay. So, let's go back to the PPT. Once your model gets trained, we can then emulate the model. The simulator yields the percentage of the lap complete for each of your turns, uh, plus the overall time it took to complete each run. If you satisfy with the training and evaluating your model, you can clone it and start to tweak your configuration for increased performance. When you have a model that meet your uh, expectation, deploy it to your car and get started racing on a physical track or compete in virtual events. Now let's review the steps we used to create our model. There are a total of 8 steps. First one is choosing training details. As you can see here, you have to give a give your model a name and you can also add some additional details about your model if you want. The simulated race track is the environment that the agent will explore while you train the model. For your first turn, choose a track with a simple shape and smooth turns after your first turn you can choose more complex environment for better results. The third step is to choose race step. There are three types of races you can compete in. First is the time trial. This is the default race step. You can race against the clock on a track without obstacle or moving competitors. Second is the object avoidance. You have to avoid the objects. And in the head-to-head -head racing, you have to race against other moving bot vehicles on a two-lane track. You can choose from two training algorithms. These algorithms are the math functions that learn based on the reward functions, uh, feedbacks. Okay, uh, one note is that the next step is to define the action space uh, and which space you can choose depends on the algorithm that you select. 
actually the algorithm and the training section is all behind the scenes you don't have to worry about the algorithm okay like how this algorithm is working you just you all have to just select the algorithm either of ppo algorithm or a sec algorithm the pp algorithm works in both discrete and continuous action spaces while the sec algorithm works is only continuous action space so next step is defining the action space in reinforcement learning the set of all valid actions or choices available to an agent as it interacts with an environment is called action space so in deep racer console you can train uh, agents in either a discrete or a continuous action space continuous action space is the default with this setting the agent learns to pick the optimal speed and steering values from the minimum and the maximum bounds you can provide through training and with the discrete action space setting you determine how the agent will respond to the environment so the sixth step is to choose a vehicle the first time you create an aws depressor model you will only see the original depressor vehicle like i show you on the uh, console as you create the models and compete in the aws depressor leaks uh, you can earn more virtual car for each new model you can choose from a list of vehicles it will show here now adjusting the reward function the goal of a reinforcement learning algorithm is to maximize the expected future rewards to achieve this long term success you must consider which actions uh, that the agent perform results in a good outcome and should be incentivized you must also condition consider which actions result in a poor outcome and should be discouraged in reinforcement learning reward function uh, is where you can experiment with these factors and apply them to a model finally in the last step all you have to do is set the timer for the maximum time the model should be training for after all these steps your model will be created and trained and gets ready for evaluating and cloning and you can take part in the competitions if you wish to learn more in detail you can refer to these links you can also contact me on linkedin uh, you see i have uh, attached a youtube link also you can watch this video too well thank you